Hi there viewers. Today, we're diving deep into the world of creating a faceless YouTube channel using nothing but free AI tools. But hey, before you roll your eyes and think, not another one of those videos, I promise you, this isn't your typical YouTube guru spiel. Because this video is all about launching your YouTube channel on any budget because let's be real, not everyone has deep pockets. We will never mislead you by saying that a software is free only for you to find out that it isn't entirely true. We will also leave no stone unturned. We're not just talking about setting up your channel, we're covering everything from finding the perfect niche to mastering keyword research. We'll tackle channel creation, banner and logo design, video creation, thumbnail design, and the art of uploading. The best part, we're going to create our channel in one of the most massively undertapped YouTube niches. Channels in this niche are comfortably raking in tens of thousands of dollars and we're about to unveil the secrets to help you claim your slice of the pie. Towards the end of the video, I'll also spill the beans on a harsh lesson I learned the hard way with one of my own channels, something that could cost you your YouTube career if you're not careful. Trust me, you'll want to stick around for this invaluable insight. And that's not all, I'll also be sharing one of the hottest, beginner-friendly faceless YouTube channel niche that is currently blowing up. Get ready to discover untapped potential and start your journey to YouTube success. To make things easier, we have organized everything into steps. The first step we will start with is niche selection. First off, why does it even matter? Well, your niche is your channel's identity. It's what sets you apart in the vast sea of YouTube content. Whether you're into tech, beauty, gaming, or even the history of belly button lint, if that's your thing, your niche defines your audience and helps you tailor content that people actually want to see. I'm assuming that by now everyone knows you can't just create a channel and make a video about everything you want. Today, you make a video about tech, the next day you talk about the best Mediterranean dishes for breakfast. People wouldn't take you seriously even if you were Mr. Beast, not to mention the YouTube algorithm. When trying to come up with the right niche most people tend to consider only one thing, CPM, which is very wrong. A niche may not have a good CPM but it's easy to get hundreds of thousands of views and has many other monetization opportunities. The fact is it's incredibly difficult to get hundreds of thousands of views in many high CPM niches even for big channels while in low CPM niches it isn't the case especially if you know what you are doing. And when thinking about the earning potential of a niche don't just consider the CPM, think about other ways you can monetize your videos like brand deals, sponsorship, channel membership and of course affiliate marketing. In my opinion, the first thing you should consider when selecting a niche is, do you intend to have a search-based channel or browse-based channel? A search-based channel is like being the GPS of YouTube. People actively search for specific content and if your video answers their query you've hit the jackpot. Think how to tie the perfect shoelace knot or top 10 AI tools for content creators. Channel like website learners fall into this category. On the flip side, a browse-based channel is more about the casual scroller. They stumble upon your content while scrolling through recommendations or their homepage. Think binge-worthy content like blogs, entertainment, or quizzes. Channel like, in a nutshell, fall under this category. Please don't ask me to pronounce the other German word. Now here's the hot tip, search-based channels are your best buddy when you're starting out. Why? Because if you are searching for a solution to your problem you won't care if the channel has one subscriber as long as it answers your query. And as long as you are able to rank your video high up in the searches and answer the query well, you are pretty much guaranteed to get views. Unlike browse-based channel where in most cases people need to build connection with your channel to get drawn to your videos. With browse-based channel you need to have incredibly good video topic and title and extremely good thumbnail. Another good thing about search-based channel is if you target the right keyword your content can be getting views for years to come. Think about a video on how to tie a tie. This topic will remain relevant pretty much forever. The third thing you should consider when coming up with a niche is competition and this is why doing keyword research is so important. The fourth thing is the video production. Ask yourself can you make high quality videos better than many channels in the niche and can you add your own twist to stand out and make it more helpful to the viewers. If you don't intend to create your video you should ask yourself, do you have the budget to create the videos comfortably? The last thing to consider which ideally should be second is passion. Are you in it for the love of the game or are you eyeing the YouTube revenue stream? Ideally you want a mix of both. Your passion keeps you going when things get tough and believe me they will at one point or the other. I will very much appreciate it if you like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. With that out of the way the niche I have spent days researching and the one we are going to create a channel on is the history niche. I have found that this is one of the most massively undertapped niche currently on YouTube with channels like Simple History earning upward of $97,000 per month according to Social Blade, making history videos in animated style. Another channel in this niche is Weird History which is earning upward of $22,000 per month. You may argue that these channels have been in the game for years which is why I made sure I find a channel which uploaded their first video just 8 months ago called Beginning to Know. 
Despite being new, this channel has had each of their videos racking up hundreds of thousands of views, with one reaching close to 3 million views as of making this video. I was also able to check the competition of different topics in this niche with vidIQ and found out there are countless of interesting keywords with very low competition. Another thing that enticed me to this niche is that it has very good monetization opportunities from sponsorships, affiliate marketing to channel memberships as long as you are producing good content that get views. With our niche selection done, we will move to channel creation. To come up with channel name, I asked ChatGPT to suggest 10 good YouTube channel names that is going to be about history of different nations, emperors, kings, and exploring the civilizations that shaped the modern world. I didn't like the names it generated so I asked it to regenerate again. Finally, I went with historical voyagers because I checked the civilization saga it generated and it turned out many channels have that same name on YouTube. From there I moved to create the YouTube channel. To create your channel, you can go to youtube.com and if you have an existing Gmail account you will see that if you go to your profile picture there is an option to create a YouTube channel. However, if you want to use a new Gmail address you should go to create an account and you will see options that say, for myself, for my child, and to manage my business. Since you want to be a content creator I assume you will regard your channel as a business which is why I recommend you choose for my business. But for me since I already have an existing business account I will go to create a channel type, historical voyagers, and create the channel. To create the channel logo, you can go to any free image generator like Bing or Leonardo AI and create a square image. For me I used a free image generator called Lexica but first I asked ChatGPT to give a prompt I can use to make an AI image generator create the perfect logo for a YouTube channel called Historical Voyagers. I added that it should keep it short and keep in mind that the channel is about historical events of different nations and territories that shaped our modern world. With that Lexica generated my logo and I chose this one. To generate the channel banner, I wanted to keep things simpler which is why I went to Canva and searched for YouTube channel banner from the templates and selected the one that will be easier to edit and will look good on our channel. When designing the banner make sure to keep it simple and don't waste your time on it since it has very little to add to your channel. Have you noticed that the channel you are watching this video on still doesn't have a banner? And when designing make sure that any text and call to action are viewable on all devices by positioning them here. To add the logo and banner you go to customization, click branding and then click logo and banner to add your saved images. After that we will move to one of the most important step which is keyword research. Remember, running a YouTube channel is not easy which is why it's not a good idea to go and start creating videos without proper research. This is why keyword research is extremely important if you are going for a search based channel. There are many tools you can use to carry out your keyword research but sadly all the good ones are premium. You may think that what about YouTube auto suggest? Unfortunately, as helpful as that data is it doesn't give the full picture. It doesn't show search volume, competition, and much more. Which is why it pays to use the premium tool like vidIQ even more so when starting out. The good news is that even the cheapest plan which they call Pro will work for you. If you want to try it out, there is a link in the description. To come up with our first video topic, I researched some of our competitors' channel to find out the kinds of videos they produce. I went to the channel we talked about earlier, beginning to know and search for one of the video they made about history of Europe. I searched the keyword history of Europe on vidIQ and saw that while the search volume is high the competition is also high. I clicked matching terms and vidIQ displayed a long list of keyword with varying search volume and competition. To make things easier I clicked and made the competition appear from lowest to highest. I didn't quite like any of the keywords though I didn't spend much time. That said, don't always be discouraged by the competition as long as you can make better and longer video with the most clickable thumbnail. To give an example, look at this channel, the posted their first video 8 months ago like I said before but when you search history of Europe their video appear first. Why? Because they have the longest video and their thumbnail is well designed. I went to another channel called Nalegia and saw they made a video on history of California. I searched that on vidIQ and clicked matching terms and had the competition shown from least difficult to hardest to get more keyword ideas. Like that, I saw an interesting topic with decent search volume and competition that I would want to create a video on, History of California Gold Rush. I searched for that on YouTube and saw that most of the videos on this exact keyword are many years old and of low quality. I figured I can make a better video with the help of AI and outrank those videos. I did that many times with my other YouTube channels. Since we have our keyword, the next step we are going to take is generating the script for the video. But if you don't want the hassle of generating the script, generating AI images, creating the video you can go ahead and use the ChatGPT for video creation and by that I mean, in video AI. This is the easiest way to make the video and you will have it ready in less than 10 minutes. After in video AI generate the video, you can make it more engaging by overlaying some contextual AI generated images, motion graphics, sound effects all with free software like CapCut and you are done. 
But since this channel is about spending less, a cost-effective way to create your video is to use ChatGPT for script generation and use other free video creation software to make the video come together. Since the video on the number one spot for our keyword is around 42 minutes long, your video should ideally be at least 25 minutes. Don't worry if you think that will take too much of your time because you don't have to make a video every week when you are in a niche like this. Many successful channel in this niche make only one video per month, some even less. If you are having a tough time coming up with a long script with ChatGPT, you can achieve that by breaking the video into chapters and prompting ChatGPT based on those chapters. Later, you can combine the results all together. To generate the script, I asked ChatGPT to write a 5,000 words video script on the history of California Gold Rush. I added that it should make a very enticing and engaging introduction and make sure to generate something that can hook the viewer all the way through. In second, it came up with the script I copied and set it aside. Because we don't want the video to be too long, we are going to copy just part of the script and move to the next step, which is voiceover creation. To generate the voiceover, you can use the cheapest and most realistic AI voice generation software, which you have probably heard a million times, Eleven Labs. If you are on a budget, the best completely free voiceover generation software you can use is Clitchamp. To generate the voiceover, I'm going to copy the script open Clipchamp, go to new video, click record and create, go to text to speech, paste our text, select the voice we want and click save. After the voiceover is generated, hit the export button and your video will be exported in MP4 format. To convert it to MP3, you can search free MP4, MP3 converter and convert it. With our voiceover ready, we will move to next step, which is video creation. To create our video, we will use a free and awesome software called CapCut. We will go to CapCut.com and click Empty Video Canvas with 16 by 19 aspect ratio and import our audio file. The idea is to find relevant clips that will fit our audio and we will use lots of AI generated images and add some animation to them. To generate the images, we copy the first paragraph and ask ChatGPT to suggest three images that will help explain what is in the paragraph and to provide prompts to help an AI image generator generate the needed images. After that, I copy the prompts one by one and paste it in Lexica. You can do the same with another image generator. I will go ahead and generate all the pictures we will need in the video. With our images ready, we import them into CapCut and place each image in the desirable place. Play the audio continuously to make sure you don't make a mistake. After that, we add animations to each scene and some effects like explosion, mist, to make the video more engaging. At this stage, you can decide to turn your images into video using softwares like Pika Art, Moon Valley, Runway ML and the likes, but they are all premium tools and you will quickly exhaust the credits they give on the free plan and I did promise running a faceless channel with entirely free AI tools. Besides, if you check channels like History Bypass, they use the same still images but animate them with different motions and effects and are widely successful so you can definitely do the same if you know what you are doing. From here, we create captions and select the text style we like. After captions, you can spice your video more by adding a cool royalty-free music and hit export. With our video ready, we need to create a thumbnail, another very important aspect of the whole process. To create the thumbnail, we go to canva.com and select from one of their free made thumbnails. When creating the thumbnail, I highly encourage you go to YouTube and search for the topic you made a video on and see how you can make your thumbnail stand out. From Canva's pre-made template, I chose to modify this thumbnail because there is a thing or two I like about it. I deleted most of the element imported an image I generated for the thumbnail using Bing Image Generator. Yes, Bing is very helpful when it comes to creating thumbnails. I adjusted the texts the way I like them. Before I posted the video, I went to a site called Thumbnail Preview. I saw how the thumbnail will appear in different devices. With that, we move to the final step of the process, which is posting the video. We go to create and upload the video by clicking on our save video. From here, we need to create our title, description, and tags, and thankfully, this is another place where vidIQ is extremely helpful. They come up with SEO-optimized description, title, and tags way better than any other tool. You will find out that you have to verify your phone number before you can upload a custom thumbnail, so let me do that quickly. Before I reveal to you what the best niche for a beginner on YouTube is right now, let's quickly take a look at the video we created. Welcome, fellow adventurers, to a tale of untamed wilderness, glimmering dreams, and the pursuit of golden fortunes. Today, we embark on a riveting journey through time to unravel the captivating story of the California Gold Rush, an era that forever altered the course of American history. Imagine a world where gold wasn't just a symbol of wealth, but a force that could turn the humblest of men into legends. Join us as we traverse the rugged terrains of the mid-19th century, where gold fever gripped the hearts and minds of thousands, setting off a frenzy that would leave an indelible mark on the Golden State. Our story begins in 1848, at the humble Sutter's Mill, nestled along the American River. 
James W. Marshall, a carpenter working for John Sutter, made a discovery that would echo through the ages. On that fateful January day, as the icy waters flowed over Marshall's fingers, he noticed something glinting beneath the surface. Little did he know that this chance encounter would set off a chain reaction, transforming California into a magnet for fortune seekers from all walks of life. And now as promised, a harsh lesson I learned with one of my YouTube channels is that YouTube shorts can potentially kill your long-form videos, so my advice is if you intend to do both you should start them on separate channels. As for one of the most profitable beginner-friendly niche on YouTube right now, you guessed it, making money with AI. I don't know if you guessed, but AI is here to stay. If you want me to make a video on how to create a how to make money with AI video, comment AI video in the comment section. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to show some love by smashing that like button and subscribe for more insights on making money online without breaking the bank.